If you've been in high school or are currently in high school, you probably know that in high school you see some of the most weirdest, most strange, most downright terrifying people you'll ever meet. I'm talking from the extremely weird nerdy anime kids who for some reason truly believe they're destined to be the next Hokage, to the quiet kid who always seems to carry an oddly big heavy metal item to school in his backpack. As someone who is currently in high school, I am one to firmly believe that high school is nothing but a breeding ground where Earth's weirdest NPCs spawn. Today we're going to be breaking down and analyzing some of the future thugs and menaces to society number one we got the menace aka the nigga that shows up to school for only two reasons to eat lunch and to cause hell to any and everybody who dares get in his way this is the dude back in school who would deadass get into a fist fight with someone over the dumbest of shit and best believe these dudes hands were rated e for everyone they would fight dudes girls kids dogs teachers hell he might even start beating up the class pet hamster if he feels like it these dudes were notorious for getting suspended at least once every single week hell it was a miracle if he could make it to third period with without getting sent to the principal's office. School menaces are the embodiment of your average NBA young boy fan. But the worst part about these type of kids for me was that I somehow always managed to be in at least one class with these type of guys. Do you understand how scary that is? I'm getting anxiety attacks any and every time this man comes anywhere near me. I don't know what's going on through his head. What if he's in a bad mood? Or what if that new YB dropped and he's feeling like putting a nigga on the stretcher? Best believe that nigga ain't finna be me. And for some odd reason, these dudes would be built like NFL players in the 10th grade. I'm like, dog, take all your pent up anger and aggression out on the football field not innocent civilians number two the emo kids these were the kids who would come to school looking like they came straight out of a vampire movie these were the kids that came to school with chokers boots with chains on them cuts on their wrist i mean lip piercings some of them also had a weird addiction to wearing cat ears to school now i don't really know what that's all about and quite frankly i don't think i want to know they also had this weird mid-2000s hairstyle that they all rock you know the one where half their face is covered by their hair to where you can only see one eye at a time now don't get me wrong i'm not one to judge how someone dresses you know at the end of the day you do you but isn't it annoying only being able to use one of your eyes at a time like i can only imagine the amount of times i'd probably bump into somebody or trip over my own feet simply because i have a 50 percent debuff on my vision they also had this weird belief that the world was against them or some shit as if everything and everyone hated them and was just preying on their downfall when in reality nobody could care less about them not to sound like an asshole or anything but people who have this the world is against me mentality are usually just people looking for attention number three three the loud girl aka the hot cheeto girl these were the girls that would bust through the front doors of school at 7 30 in the morning yelling at the top of their lungs like goddamn how do you even have that much goddamn energy in first period it hasn't even started yet they would always have some random snack in their hand most likely hot cheetos and they would always show up to school with a huge purse full of everything in the world other than a goddamn notebook they all have the exact same player build as well long hair even longer nails probably wearing an outfit that they got from sheen or some shit they would also for some reason use cold copious amounts of perfume like goddamn it only takes four or five sprays to smell good but it smells like you use the whole goddamn bottle and they usually always have a posse with them usually a group of three to four other girls but what honestly made me hate hot cheeto girls growing up as a kid is how they felt they were better and more important than everyone else they had this mindset that they should always get their way and if they didn't they start getting loud and angry pretty much the same tactics that a three-year-old toddler would use it's almost like they've never heard the word no in their entire life number four the vape gang now for any of you who don't know who the vape gang is it was basically these group of dudes who would sit in the bathroom and vape from the time school started to the time school ended i mean there was dozens of times when i walked into the school bathroom at like eight in the morning and would see six dudes vaping now look at the end of the day it's your life so you choose what decision you make and what you want to do but if you wake up and the first thing on your mind is hit the strawberry flavored vape you have a problem at some point you have to look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you are addicted and you need help but what i hate about it most is that because of the mixture of all those chemicals in the air and all those different smells it would leave the bathroom smelling horrible i mean bathrooms would sometimes smell like burnt rubber it was so bad at my school the vape gang got so big dudes started buying and trading vapes from each other like it was pokemon or some shit not even three weeks into school the bathrooms basically became a black market for people to make vape deals and yes i wish i was kidding number five the teacher's pet these were the kids who would absolutely glaze the teacher just for extra credit points these were the kids that would consistently remind the teacher that we had homework that night before oh yeah Yes, miss coffee stains you forgot to collect the homework you assigned last night like bro if you don't shut the fuck up what made teachers pets even more unbearable was the fact that most of the time they would put on this complete goody two-shoes act even though in reality their personality was nothing like that as a matter of fact it was most likely a teacher's pet of the class was the biggest dick in the class number six the anime kids these were the kids that literally thought they lived in an anime they would go around school having pretend anime fights and shit they would go around school making weird animal noises for some reason they would even sometimes come to 
school decked out in a my hero outfit just asking to get bullied now don't get me wrong i am an avid anime enjoyer myself but my god do anime kids make the rest of us anime fans look bad they're the reason most people associate enjoying anime with walking around just like naruto anime kids also had a weird obsession with making these ninja star looking thingies and even though they don't look all that harmful these bitches used to hurt let you get hit in the back of the head with one of these things shit will make you feel like you got a paper cut on the back of your head number seven and arguably the worst of them all the musty kid this was the nigga that came to school smelling like he just ran a hundred meter dash it smelled like this dude hadn't used any type of soap nor deodorant in the past five years now don't get me wrong i understand that if you have a class like gym early in the school day like first period that's possible for you to get a little musty but my nigga if i can smell you three hallways down that's how you know there's a fucking problem there's no reason why you should smell like the bottom of shrek's foot my guy but anyway i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here in the comments below let me know if any other types of students that i didn't mention in this video if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more types of students in high school i'll probably make a part two but uh yeah don't forget to like subscribe if you're new and uh yeah later